So we're gonna do uh, an optical illusion today. And I have my big piece of paper. I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to see it. So I'm gonna go through this. You don't have to do it with me. I'm gonna also put this on my YouTube channel so that way you can look at it again. Um, on my paper, I have about, I say like 12 dots just spaced out. Um, and what you're gonna do, now you can do this. I'm doing this with marker so you can see it. You can use a smaller marker, which is probably better, or you can even do it started out with pencil. Um, you're gonna end up using colored pencil, so, or just pencil. So however you decide that you wanna do it is um, up to you. So I'm gonna show you in just regular marker. So I have these 12 dots. With these dots, you're going to connect them. So they're almost like flowers in a way. So the first thing you're gonna do is kind of connect dot to dot using these petal structures. So I would go this way, this way, and then there's no dot over here, so I'm just gonna kind of make one that goes off, totally fine. This one's gonna come down. This one, another one's gonna go off, no biggie. It's gonna come up. And then you could do one all the way across if you want to, that's fine. And then, so you're gonna do every single one of them so that they connect. Oop. Okay, Put your center, this one's off. Got one here, one here. Now I'm doing this pretty fast so that, um, I don't keep you too long. So you're gonna start with that, connect everything. So this one would have one going off. This one would have one going off. You could even put one here, but you can see it can vary. So once you have these petal-like structures, you're gonna have kind of your connecting. Now the important part here is that you don't make your lines too straight because the curvature is what's gonna help make that optical illusion. Now I went ahead and kind of started um, this project further. So it's the same dots that I had on the last paper, but let me show you what comes next before I show you that part. So what you need to do is pick a petal and then you're going to do kind of like what we did when we did the worm tunnel. I don't know if you remember that optical illusion you're going to kind of expand each of the petals from that dot. So some of them it's pretty hard. So like right here I'm already connecting to another dot. And you want to keep going. So so for example this this one's kind of kind of messed up there so don't let's let's ignore that one. Um, this one here so you're going to connect and keep connecting this one and you can also add some inside okay but the important thing is these dot areas is really where you're going to be growing from so i could go here you kind of jump around i like to jump around it's kind of how i create things i don't tend to focus on one area do that whole area and then go to the next one for me, I sometimes I tend to just do one and then I go to the next one and then it becomes kind of this hopping around. And that way each one gets one layer first and then I can go back and do the next layer. So you can see how that's kind of growing and growing and growing. Well, eventually this, like this right here, is going to fill in the entire paper. So that's gonna start your um, optical illusion. And these center points are still gonna be very important. Now I'm gonna flip the paper over because I don't want you to have to wait for me to do this like 20 minutes or so. I wanted to make this a nice short lesson for you. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over to what I had already prepared, which is what I was hiding here, it, which is the next, the next stage. So the next stage is you're gonna focus on each of these dot areas. Uh-oh, where'd my marker go? There it is. So the way I created this is you want to go into each of these center areas and really make them really dark. So that's the first thing you're going to do. 
make those center areas really, really, really dark. So it's kind of like our shadow and light that we did. It's the furthest thing away from the light. So you're gonna show, eventually you're gonna show the lightest part here, darker, darker. So it's gonna look like it has that curvature. So you're gonna go into each dot, okay? And then the way you're gonna make it grow from there, now you can do this in pencil. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do this in marker. Um, so that way you can see it. But what you're gonna do, so here, let's say I added my layers here. I'm gonna put one inside even. And then what I wanna do is I kinda of want to expand this black area onto, it almost looks like a, like a flower petal in a sense. So you want it to be really dark here. Okay, so on this side as well, you do the same thing. So this is the darkest area of the petal and it kind of grows like that. Now, if you have one, um, I can do this here. So then we have this one and it kind of grows out from that center, center spot. Now, well, how color comes in, um, this is when you would get your you could use crayons or color pencils if you have them. I wouldn't use marker because you can't get those variations in the, the tone. Um, so I'm going to use the same. Actually, I'll use a purple just to kind of make a variation. So I'm going to use a, a lighter purple and um, try and do a darker purple on the edges. So for example, I like to, when I'm doing lighter to darker shading, I like to do it all the way. You can leave some that's just totally, completely white, and then come in here, start in the darker area, and just kind of slowly, it's almost like you're Bob Rossing it, right? Making it darker on the sides, or where the, where the dots are, where there's less light, the center being, the curvature on the top. So if let's say my light's right here, and my thing, my curve is right here, this is gonna be the spot that's gonna get the most light. You can kind of see it actually on my hands, the light and the dark, okay? So to accentuate this dark spot, I'm gonna use actually a darker purple than I had here. So I can actually go in and really make this truly a black, but then it goes into a purple, kind of monochromatic in a way, shadow to light. Okay, so you should see this, the, the lightest part is in the center, just like right here. Okay, now with this one, I did all of them at one time. That's fine. This one, I only did one petal at a time. That's also fine. So you could do, let's say one section. So let's say this one right here is blue. Um, if I wanted to do, I could do this and do this purple. And then maybe do it, you know, red. So there's a lot of different ways that you can color these. You can have each one Each flower burst be like this right here, or this right here could be just all purple. But then you have this thing right here where it's going into another flower. So then is this one gonna be purple? So sometimes it's better to do each one a different color or to try to maybe do um, like here where I did blue, purple, red. So kind of play with it a little bit, see what kind of color patterns you wanna do. Um, but it's just another way to do shadow and light and then you get your optical illusion that things are actually moving and coming in 